everyone Joel here from Devon Dice bringing you an unboxing video for this morning it's my first unboxing of 2020 I believe little surprise I didn't expect it to come through the doors quite so quickly but it has and it's here or well, part of it is here I'm still waiting for one bit to be developed and the other bit to arrive so I hope it does arrive soon um, it doesn't make a difference to what I play but I am looking forward to it and if you can't guess there's a little surprise behind me on the shelf it's recent Kickstarter and they've done a lot of extras now I wasn't gonna back and get physical stuff of it I was backing it for the uh, video game version which I love the game itself and they said they're gonna bring out a digital version of it so I was gonna back it and then they were releasing alternate molds of the original kickstarter extras which don't really need didn't see a problem still wasn't backing it and then they said oh look here's some extra molds for you to have and i'm great great i will have to spend some more money and i've got the kickstarter extras so i'm gonna go have a look and have a see what they look like in the box below join me down here okay so here's here's the box it got delivered in um and on top of it, just covering up my uh, details, is Cluster the Game. Now you can go and check my review video on the channel if you want to. Um, there'll be a link probably below, but Cluster is great. And now you can get Cluster at Meeple's Corner. They have it in stock. It's a very good price. And it's an awesome game that everyone should have in their pocket when travelling around. Okay. So, let's open up and see what's inside. So it came in this box. Not everything in it. But I did get these, and I forgot I actually uh, purchased these as well. And I checked, and yes, I did purchase them. So they're just thicker boards for the players, um, for the um, player, clang, dashboard. So they're just really thick. I mean, the original ones are just card, are like little bits a card, almost paper-like. Um, but now you've got nice clang ones, and... I think it's all the clans, yeah. So, here's the box itself, and this is an awesome front cover. Let's get that out of the way. Look at that, I love I love it. Out of all the blood rage, and possibly. So I back the Kickstarter of uh, Meeple's Corner where I can have photo frames of board game covers in a, well, board game covers in a photo frame, and this could be my next one. I've got on the underground on the minute at, on the uh, wall. Uh, but this could make it. So here's the back of it showing you what you get inside. Which looks awesome. So. Let's get this open. Been looking forward to this all weekend of opening this. But I was saving it. Because I only picked it up on Saturday because it was in the post office. And um, I've been saving it all weekend just so I can unwrap, unbox it for you lot. Oh, stiff lid to get off. What we got? So we got Gods of As the uh, Gods of Asgard rules set up. Which, if you've already got the Gods of Asgard, you'll know what they do. Nothing really changes with them. And then they got the five player rules set. In case you haven't got the five player, but you have. Stags is the new clang they've handed into it. It makes no difference. You can have whatever you want. So they're giving you two boards. They've given you the normal paper version if you want it. And they've given you the cardboard version to match all of them. And then inside here is all the beautiful extras. So these are the cards for the gods, um, which I've already got, but now, nice. So, just so you can see, that's what comes inside. So we have two layers, we've got this layer. So we've got the mystics, oh, stag mystics, 
which uh, you need uh, if you're playing with a stand clang. And I suspect, is it in these? So these are the alternate, oh no, that's a new creature. When the monster invades a province, it may replace a figure there, moving it to a adjacent province of your choice. Hmm. Quite nice, I think that's the other new figure. And the rest are just, uh, they've already been, or maybe that one as well, I can't remember now. But then you've got some new cards, alternate cards maybe, or they're the same, might be the same. They feel different, but they're minor sleeved, so I wonder if they are different at, at all. So these are just so you can have a five player game, really. Or a six player game now, if you really want to. Um, so look. That's the first player token. It is plastic, even though it looks metal. Feels quite nice. I thought it'd be a little bit heavier, but it is a lot bigger. The original first player token that came in the Kickstarter version was a bit small and a bit weak. But this one really stands out now, which is really nice. And then we have some bases. Have we got any big? Oh yeah, I've seen them. Some bases for the other clang, so you've got a white version. We have the clang tokens to move along the dashboard, which are little stags. Awesome. This, I believe, and they got two. I think this is the um like the chaos marker, is it, or something like that, which basically says um what area is going to be destroyed next and then we've got the little raven marker to tell us what part what round we're on i think i can't really remember uh got the boat for the clang these are quite cool um so we've got here little tokens for uh, to replace the tokens of the original game. So um, these are the... These are the pillaging tokens. So when you pillage an area, you get what's on there. And it's quite awesome because you've got two sides. Or you got a pillaging house. Or what remains of a house. And when you pillage, you basically put it over the token to say it's been pillaged. Which is quite awesome then once it's not being pillaged or you reset take it off again so that's pretty funky I quite like that um so they're quite nice underneath here is some big discs for the uh, big monsters for your stag clan and then we've got the monsters here so we got the clang warriors we've got the uh, mystic model for the uh, stag clang Another one. And we've got the leader. Quite awesome. No no wonky swords or staffs or things like that going on, which is quite cool. Uh, then we've got... These are the new gods, so they're a lot bigger. They're a bit more prominent now which is quite awesome um they look gold but they are plastic so they're not a metal they look pretty good you can see some joins in them but at least they're made up um and then we got oh he's still two parts odin sat on his throne so start the staff is a little bit wonky there but hey not that much noticeable so he's quite cool and then we got the extra monsters i think he's a new one i can't remember now and then we've got the wolf woman with a With the best cleavage I've ever seen on a woman or werewolf. 
they like to do. Um, there's another, this is another new model, uh, the War Pig. Um, war, War Boar. The, uh, the wolf, the female version of the wolf. The female version of the mountain giant. Uh, the uh, seer troll, I think this is. I can't remember now. It's pretty awesome. It's quite nice. And then this serpent creature, which looks awesome. Very heavy. This is solid. So that's the uh, unboxing of all the Kickstarter stuff. Well, not all the Kickstarter stuff. I am still waiting for the player mat. Right, guys. I've just just come back to this video. Uh, I was about to publish the video on YouTube when I got a notification that this little treat or extra was on its way to me. And I literally picked it up this morning and got it ready so I can stick it on the end of the video. It is basically the player mat. Look at this. This is actually... Seems quite big. Um, I suppose it is big. But it's actually very nice. If you wanted to look at it. It's got... Uh, embroidered edges. It's got a grippy... Nice grippy mat on the back. Some smooth texture. The illustration... Is very good. It's a bit dark. I think they could have... Um, brightened it up a bit more because um, I don't know if it shows here it looks a bit very dark but we can do a comparison in a minute because so this is the and there is the actual board so it was 25 mm, I'm going to say 20% bigger than the standard and I mean, this looks brighter because it's got a glossy finish. But everything else is pretty much the same. Then we have the Valhalla card, which is just a piece of cardboard. There's plenty of room in Valhalla for all your noble dead warriors to go to. And this is the kind of player mat, not player mat, but brown board that was placed on the side again this one's card and uh has placeholders for the age cards and then tells you what pace you're at and also lets you know what areas are going to be ragnarok uh in the coming future and up against there complete difference but it's also a, a different layout and there you go this is the player map for blood rage from the kickstarter uh, it looks like it's going to do the job very well i am very much looking forward to playing this or playing blood rage again especially with the new content and this excellent new mat and yeah just getting this game out again for a while plus i now got more miniatures to paint which and I'm also looking forward to the digital bloody hamster in the background. Also looking forward, the, forward to the digital version of the game when it hits the computers. See what is happening with it. So yes, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please stick a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It all means a lot to me. And uh, check you out or check out some of my other videos later on. Thank you and goodbye.